Imagine you were in a room and a friend or someone you know has died, their flesh is rotting, and there is a smell of dead meat. Flies swarm around the meat and settle on it. It oozes push and blood. Even if you were hungry would you consider eating such a corpse? We assume any healthy, sound human being would feel disgusted at the thought of such a thing. It is probably only the lower life forms in the animal world that would consider eating from such a corpse, vultures, rats, cockroaches, flies, maggots and other insects. Possibly dogs. It is something that would be disgusting and unthinkable to any human human being. So why does Allah compare eating the flesh of one's dead brother with backbiting him? Just as we are naturally disgusted with the idea of eating from the body of another person lying dead before us, we should feel disgusted with the idea of talking and exposing his faults to others or saying unkind things about him. Backbiting is mentioning about another Muslim, or another person, what he hates to hear about himself and would not like to hear mentioned about it. Some people don't like people to call them short, or fat, or lazy or having your eyes or being a mean person. Whatever it is, unless there is a good reason to mention it, for identification purposes or advising a person who may want to work or marry with such a person it does not need to be mentioned. When there is a necessity and there is no need to specify the issue, it is best not to mention it. Why such a strong example? And why is backbiting like eating a dead person? It is like eating from a dead person, because normally it happens behind someone's back and they cannot defend themselves. It is still backbiting when said directly, however, it is worse when it happens in their absence as there is no chance of defending themselves. Eating from their dead body is like picking them apart and reading them up when they cannot do anything to defend themselves. People's lives and reputations can be ruined through backbiting and slandering and broadcasting people's personal issues and faults. It also makes the person doing the backbiting appear like a low-life animal who is tearing apart its prey. This is in spite of the fact that many people engage in backbiting to try and ruin someone's reputation and bring them down. In reality they have exposed themselves as a low-life and like a vulture trying to gain someone from ruin another person's reputation. To try and encourage Muslims to treat each other with respect and honorable...